Thank you. We want to shift back now to the coronavirus and new insight that we're getting from research that's being done right here in Houston that shows us what happens to the body once it's actually infected by the virus. Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold is live tonight with a closer look at how autopsies are providing these answers. Robert? Pathologists say in the early days of the pandemic, this type of research was greatly slowed by conflicting guidance from the federal government. That This type of research is now gaining momentum. The goal here is to try to find better treatments for COVID-19 patients by better understanding why some people die from the virus. Develop a more uh, rapid response, a more comprehensive treatment protocol that will salvage a number of these patients. That is the goal of research being done by Dr. L. Maximilian Buya and his colleagues. Buya is a professor of pathology and laboratory medicine at UT Health's McGovern Medical School. He says one of the more insidious complications of the virus is blood clots. Leading to clogging up of the smallest blood vessels in the lungs, known as the capillaries. It's not just the lungs. A number of these people are developing clotting in the veins in the legs. Buya says in some patients, the virus also causes their immune system to go into hyperdrive. In an excess, they can stimulate more and more of this inflammation, more and more of this clotting problem. Buya's hope is this research shows doctors the need to look for these potential complications early. Harris County Deputy Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Dwayne Wolf contributed to this research, another warning sign for doctors. The blood vessels in the lungs become leaky and you start getting proteins leaking out of the bloodstream into the air sac. That interferes with how the body exchanges oxygen and carbon dioxide, which can be a factor when deciding whether to put a person on a ventilator. Wolf says these issues also help better explain why those with underlying health problems are hit hardest. In fact, he says the first autopsy he did on a COVID-19 victim was a person with no known health problems, but... The person had you know, underlying heart disease that was never diagnosed. He had, as it turns out, diabetes that was never diagnosed. Now, some of this research has already been published, and we've put links to that on click2houston.com. Again, the goal here is to give doctors treating COVID-19 patients leads on problems to look for earlier in the treatment process. That way, comprehensive treatments can be developed much faster. Reporting live from the Texas Medical Center, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Robert.